In the serenity of a quiet home in Manila, a remarkable woman sat deep in thought. It was 2019, and while the world stood still in lockdown, she embraced the solitude, knowing that she had a monumental role to fulfill. This is the untold story of an extraordinary journey, one that transcends time, borders and wealth. Born into a family of immense historical power, she carried the weight of a profound lineage. Her mother, of Spanish nobility, was rumoured to be the rightful heir to the British crown. And she is a granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth I and her father, a visionary, brilliant, one of the most great leaders and a global financial administrator. Even more remarkably, she was a direct descendant of the national hero of the Philippines and also shared ancestral ties with the Queen of Sheba, King Solomon and King David. Her destiny was tied not just to her homeland, but to the world. But who is she? And why does her legacy hold the key to the future of humanity? Today, we unveil the story of Mariposa, the butterfly, and the global mission that awaits her. Her journey began in December 1975, when she left the Philippines for the United States, first arriving in Guam before settling in California. Her life changed in 2006, when she discovered through her birth certificate her parents' marriage license and her last will and testament that she was an heir and the sole executor of all assets listed in Exhibit A, spanning countries from A to Z globally. Between 2010 and 2015, she returned to her homeland where even more unexpected surprises awaited her. Fully embracing her identity as Mariposa or Butterfly, she gained the key to unlock the reverse key program and activate the World Bank with herself as WSWB and her Morningstar ring linked to an infinite cash account. She also learned from the secret book of redemption that she possesses the SOHBC ownership declaration, global immunity, international diplomatic clearance, the sole power of constitutional authority from the LOI, a safety conduct pass, and clearances from the IMF, UNISC, G75, QPN, GP and GPH. As the sole heir to King Solomon's wealth, the Rodriguez Trust and the Heritage Wealth, she was entrusted with immense power and responsibility. Her mission took her across the globe. In 2006, she travelled to Malaysia, where she was warmly welcomed by some of her uncles. After that, she headed to Hong Kong for an important meeting at the Intercontinental Hotel. During one of these meetings, a high-ranking official revealed that he had worked for her mother, highlighting the influential connections she had. A week later, while in Shenzhen, China, she found herself unknowingly involved in a proof-of-life POL situation, discovering her compliance with Wells Fargo Box, which also played a role in supporting China's economy. In 2014, while in Malaysia, she was pressured into a 50 50 deal to release funds from Bank Negara, which she wisely refused. The deal was meant to be finalised at a hotel in Hong Kong, where she was again coerced to sign an agreement involving an HSBC account, $54 billion and 4,500 metric tonnes of assets. She was told the funds would be deposited into an account for a foundation, but once again she refused to sign the deal. By March 2021, rumours circulated that the previous administration had accessed her account in the central bank. A portion of the interest from her vast wealth was allegedly used to curb inflation and support the Philippines' economic obligations to the World Bank. If only people had noticed that even amidst the pandemic, the Philippines never halted its Build, Build, Build projects. The funds were returned in March 2022. There were whispers that in 2022, her gold deposits were being used to back the issuance of the new Polymer 1000 Peso Bill. These are the events unknown to the public regarding the actions taken with the assets of the Seventh Keeper in recent times. However, let us remember that these assets cannot be taken as they are reserved for a divine purpose. But her most important task was yet to come. Mariposa was entrusted with implementing the Reverse Key Program, a visionary concept originally conceived by one of the greatest leaders in the Philippines, its purpose? To liberate humanity from the economic slavery imposed by global elites over a long period of time. With this, she would initiate Jasara, a global act intended to restructure the financial systems of the world. 
The resources under her control, including the heritage wealth, King Solomon's wealth, and the Rodriguez Trust, would fuel this revolutionary change. As the world waited for a historic event, the activation of the emergency broadcast system, millions prepared for the global currency reset, the largest transfer of wealth in human history. The Banco Central Eng Pilipinas was set to announce the first release of these vast funds, unlocking global prosperity. Yet for Mariposa, this was more than a financial mission. It was deeply spiritual, a mission to guide humanity to a brighter future. Mariposa saw herself as the global queen of the monarchial kingdom, entrusted with leading the world into a new era of peace, prosperity and enlightenment. For years she worked tirelessly preparing for this pivotal moment. And now, on the edge of a global awakening, the world watches as she steps into her destiny, ready to fulfil a promise that transcends borders and transforms humanity. But who is this extraordinary woman? Before long, the world will know her name. Her journey and the mark she's making are bound to resonate with people everywhere. Stay tuned as we unveil the legacy of global wealth and humanitarian vision. Don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories related to reverse key programs shaping our world.